A Deadly Dinner Party. I'm Jason Horton. I'm Rebecca Lieb. And this is Ghost Town. We talk about a lot of things on Ghost Town, but we rarely talk about the mob. So I thought I'd change it up this Friday. Let's go back to Chicago to talk about the most notorious gangster, maybe of all time, Al Capone. You might want to check out our St. Valentine's Day Massacre episode back in year one of Ghost Town before you listen to this, because everything that we're going to talk about today kind of comes on the heels of that. But just in case you don't want to go all the way back, I'm going to do a little summary right here. On the morning of February 14th, 1929, seven members and associates of Chicago's North Side Gang arrived at a Lincoln Park garage and lined up against a wall. They were all shot and killed by four unknown assailants, two of whom were dressed like police officers. The whole thing was a result of a struggle for control between the Irish Northsiders, headed by George Bugs Moran, and their Italian Southside gang rivals led by Al Capone. The perpetrators have never been conclusively identified, but obviously everyone knew it was Capone and Moran, and maybe even the police, as some members of the Chicago Police Department allegedly wanted revenge for the murder of one of their sons by the Northside gang. Horrible, brutal, and it sets the stage for a gruesome dinner party that is half myth, half reality. So after the St. Valentine's Day Massacre, as the murder of the Northside gang was called, Capone had a lot of press. He was also probably, unsurprisingly, hated by his mobster peers. One of his enemies was another mob guy named Joe Aiello, who put up a 50k bounty for anyone who would kill the notorious Al Capone. And two people accepted the challenge— Chicago outfit Sicilian hitmen Albert Anslemi and John Scalisi were violent, ruthless, and worked together so well they were known as the Murder Twins. And the best part? They were Capone's most trusted hitmen and had really no issues with Capone. They thought he was by all measures a great boss and made a good living working for him. But with a nickname like the Murder Twins, maybe diplomacy and reason isn't really your thing. They were greedy, they wanted the cash, and they brought in their friend, Joseph Quinta, to help them with what would be a significant undertaking. And they would have pulled it off if it wasn't for the acting chops of Capone's loyal bodyguard, Frank Rio, who was actually loyal to Capone, unlike the murder twins. Rio knew something was up, like something was going on with the murder twins, something weird. He couldn't quite put his finger on it. So he and Capone staged a mock argument in front of the hitman to gain their trust. I'm not really sure what the argument was about, but it ended with Rio slapping Capone around the face and storming off. Very dramatic, and again, probably took some method-level commitment coming from mob members who could probably sense when things seemed disingenuous. After the fight, the murder twins approached Rio to bring him in on the deal and to take a cut of the 50K. In their minds, Rio was the key to getting them close enough to Capone to do the job. Rio, of course, went straight back to Capone and told him everything. He told him that Aiello had put up the bounty and that Anslemi, Scalisi, and Guinta were all in on it. Capone took this information in and knew that he had to act fast. So he threw a dinner party. Yes, a dinner party. But before we eat, let's take a break. Fall is the season of gathering that brings us together with warmth and color. So whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a special event, celebrate your friends and family with a gorgeous bouquet of roses from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to brighten someone's day with 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99. To get 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99, Visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. What's up, everybody? I'm Jimmy Wong. How's it? It's Josh Lee Kwai. We're the hosts of the Command Zone podcast. You've probably heard of Magic the Gathering. Whether you're a new player or a seasoned veteran or you used to play and want to get back into the game, you've got to check out Commander. It's the most popular way to play Magic, and for good reason. It's everything you love about board games, but with Magic cards. Deep, rewarding strategies, infinite creative deck building possibilities, and it's multiplayer. So there are tons of opportunities for complex social interactions. If you can't tell, we seriously love this game, and we think you would too. I mean, why else would we talk about it for like an hour every single week? (laughs) All right, so if you like Magic the Gathering, check us out at The Command Zone, the premier podcast for all things Commander. Available on Apple Podcasts, Stitcher, Spotify, or anywhere podcasts are found. 
So we're back, and Capone is about to throw a dinner party for his best hitman turned murder plotters. At Chicago's iconic Hawthorne Hotel, Capone staged a dinner for Rio, a kind of mutual apology tour and delicious celebration. Because Anslemi, Scalisi, and Guinta were there to see the argument, they were also invited as guests of honor. Imagine if weddings worked that way. It would not be pretty. Now, this is where the story kind of breaks, and the myth of the party versus the fact of the party can get a little blurry. The legend goes that the hitmen all got very drunk and gorged themselves on the probably awesome dinner spread. They were then so fucked up that Capone's men easily tied them to their own chairs and then started beating them with baseball bats. Capone's pal Tony Accardo or Al Capone himself were said to be holding the bat, but Capone was maybe behind them, insulting them as they were being brutally beaten and then taken out to their own car, depending on what source you read. So Capone and Rio drove what was left of these men all the way to Indiana. There, they shot them all repeatedly, making sure that they were dead. The gruesome scene was discovered by authorities the next morning. The Chicago coroner was shocked at what he saw. He said that there wasn't an inch of their bodies left unbruised, and it was hard to locate a bone that wasn't broken. Everything from top to toe was shattered to pieces. And remember Joe Aiello? the guy who originally put the bounty up for Capone's life? Well, he also came to a gruesome end about 10 years later, when in 1930 he was gunned down after too much plotting behind the backs of the other, different mob bosses. When the coroner got to Aiello's body, he removed nearly 60 bullets from it. Which goes to show the hardest job in 1920s Chicago was probably being a coroner, second only to maybe catering and bullet sales. Of course, I know what you're wondering. What happened to Capone? He was in and out of jail and never really returned to Chicago after his last incarceration. Capone moved to Palm Island with his wife and immediate family, and while suffering dementia, died of stroke and pneumonia on January 25, 1947. Fall is a season of gathering that brings us together with warmth and color. So whether it's a birthday, anniversary, or a special event, celebrate your friends and family with a gorgeous bouquet from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to find your reason and brighten someone's day with exclusive offers and great values on bouquets and arrangements. To order today, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. With MailChimp, you get more than a URL. You get an all-in-one marketing platform to help drive sales. With things like data-driven recommendations and powerful automation tools. Get started today at MailChimp.com slash smart marketing. MailChimp, built for growing businesses. Fall is the most birthday-packed season of the year, so chances are you have a few celebrations coming up. Make sure your friends and family feel special with a gorgeous bouquet of roses from 1-800-Flowers.com. 1-800-Flowers makes it easy to send the perfect gift. 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99. To get 24 multicolored roses for just $39.99, visit 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in. That's 1-800-Flowers.com slash tune in.